Greetings to all of you. A very welcome to all of you in this last week of Lenten. A new week next Sunday. We're going to be Palm Sunday. Time is running. So I invite you all to come with me in a new Lenten devotional. And for today it is, pay attention to your dreams. This is your Pastor Yeti. While Pilate was sitting on the judge seat, his wife sent him this message. Don't have anything to do with this innocent man. For I have suffered a great deal today in a dream because of him. Matthew 27, 19. I'm going to give you a story from the author. My husband's pet peeve is about driving on a busy four-lane highway with construction ahead. Several miles before the road work, all the drivers see the same sign stating, right lane closed ahead. All the drivers know the drill, merge from two lanes into one. Sounds very easy, sounds very simple to understand. She moves on with the story. My husband follows the rules. He moves the car over to the open lane early. Then he gets angry. Car after car races by, waiting till the last possible moment to squeeze into the line of traffic in the open lanes. And I think all of us can't, can have a, an example on that. We are familiar with those actions. Didn't they see the sign, the warning he grows? So Pilate also received an early warning about Jesus. His wife sent him advice about condemning the innocent man. Her dreams told her trouble would mount if he sentenced Jesus to death. Now maybe one of you or maybe more than a few are a type that not remember dreams. In one way that's fine because it will reveal to you on a later date or when it comes to pass, we really need to have, get that information. Or some get up and really remember detailed what they were dreaming. I've learned, though, that the more you practice remembering them, writing them down immediately upon waking, you remember more details. Of course, I say it, waking up, upon waking. We also go through that process of getting up, getting awake, and some already say, well, I need my coffee. And that's all fine, but you see, we are such in a schedule which we override sometimes what we really, really, really need to do. Focused. So, the Bible contains many cautions arising from dreams. Twice predictions originating from dreams impact Jesus' life. At the birth of Jesus, wise men from the east followed the star to worship the newborn king. 
not sure where to find him. They visit Herod to seek information about the king's location. The threat of a king being born disturbed Herod, who asked the wise men after they find this king to return to let him know where the king now lived, so he can worship the new king too. After they find the baby Jesus, the Magi are warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, but to go home another route. The Magi listened to their dreams. Joseph soon is also warned in a dream to leave Bethlehem and escape to Egypt in order to avoid the wrath of Herod. Two dreams warned, two precautions headed. But Pilate decided to listen to the crowds and not to his wife. I wonder what conversation those two must have had after the crucifixion and Jesus' resurrection. Dreams, intuition, listening quietly to God, all offer us direction and clearness when discerning a decision. During Lent, pay attention to your dreams. Be still and listen for the voice of God in your prayers, reading, and quiet time. God is always present. All we need to do is open our eyes and heart to notice Him. There are more than just this scripture example about dreams, about listening and obeying it. There, in the Old Testament, you have the life of Joseph. And his life doesn't change overnight, but he also had a couple of dreams. And he gave attention to that. And God also gave him the answer to those who came to him. Pay attention, my dear ones. It's very, very important. Because during the night and during the day, things can come to you, as well as you napping, which I think it's fine to do a napping during the day, if, of course, you're possible to do that. And things also can come to you. Be still and listen for the voice of God in your prayers, reading and quiet times. An image I gave to you, a small notepad by your bed to keep track of your dreams. And my question, what will help you listen for guidance when discerning a next step. Pray with me, Lord, beloved spouse of our day and nighttime dreams. Dreams are a gift from you. Help us hear your lessons in all our experiences with you. We ask this in the wonderful and powerful name of your Son, Jesus the Christ. So give attention, my beautiful people. Give attention. I'm saying now to you also the a message that I want to give you. I do broadcasting till the end of the week. And then I will stop for two weeks. I know we go to Palm Sunday and then the, the Holy Week. But I am very busy in these coming weeks. So I will not have the time to broadcast. So I will come back, of 
course, during this week I will be available, but after the two, other two weeks I will broadcast again on Monday, I think on April 9, could be 10, I'm not sure, and then I will be again in California, U.S. Blessings to all of you. Remind yourself how important you are in receiving answers through your prayers, through your quiet times. Listen. Every moment is special because God is ever-present and every step you take, you're walking on holy ground. Now you will say to me, well, it's the kind of world we're living. Yes, of course, but still. It is God's creation where you, yes, you, are that important to Him because you, you can make that difference. My blessings to you and to all of you. With a warm greeting, this is your Pastor Yeti.